to episode two of the Tinkle Game Show. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. My name is Aparna, and with me is hello. I am Devika from the Tinkle Control Center. Hello, Devika. <laughs> hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. I can see that we have a lot of new players today. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. We're all happy to see you. Okay. So, yes. Devika, even your dog is excited. I can hear it in the background. Oh my God. She's angry She's that she can't out. participate. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those who are participating today, let us tell you how this is going to work. Okay. So, right now, you are watching us probably on YouTube. Okay. And hopefully you are watching us on your computer. All right. So you can't play through a YouTube video. So here's what you can do. You can ask your parents, one of them, for their phones. All right. And through that phone, open up the web browser. So Google Chrome or Firefox, whatever is available in your parents' phone. Open it and then go to this website crowd dot live all right yep. so once you go to the website you will have to type in the code 4 w 90 o you can see this on your screen right now there it's right there okay so once you type in that code then you will need to put in some of your details like your name your age your email address and why we ask you for your email address is if you win we need to get in touch with you about yes. your prize. OK, we will yes. come to your prizes, by the way, soon. Very exciting. So to sum up, uh, watch us via your computer on YouTube. And then on your phone or your parents' phone, you can play along. Just go to the website crowd.live and then type the code you see on your screen, which is 4W90O. Once you type in the code, You'll have to put in your name, your age, and your email address, and then just hang tight. Okay, the questions will start appearing soon. Okay, uh, so now you must have guessed that. Well, for all this, you need a good internet connection. Um, but unfortunately, the internet can be a you know a bratty child, and it can throw tantrums every now and then. What you can expect the internet to do is to create a lag, which is a time difference between the video and the questions that show up on your screen mm -hmm. in your phones. So it's very likely that the questions will show up first in your phone screen. And then you will hear us or you will watch us read out those same questions on the video. So what you should do is you should not wait for us to finish reading the questions yeah. and the options. As soon as a question appears in your phone screen, just select the right answer, OK? Don't wait for us to finish reading the question, because there will be a lag. There will be a time difference between the questions appearing on your phone screen and appearing here on the video screen, OK? So um, that's how you get around the internet being a bratty child. Something else that you can do is if you're on Wi-Fi, you can ask other people in the house to not use the Wi-Fi connection while you're playing the game. Or you can connect your phone and your computer to a 4G network. So that way, only those two devices are on the 4G network and nothing else is. So then you get all the internet for yourself. All right. OK, Devika. OK, yes. What can we expect in today's show? OK. So uh, we have three rounds like we normally do. And each round will have five questions each. Uh, round one is called Tinkle Brainiac, which has all the general knowledge questions, except that they're framed in Tinkleys. What is Tinkleys, Aparna? Um, isn't Tinkleys the language of Tinkle? Yes, that is right. You, uh, unfortunately, you don't get any points for this. So uh, general knowledge questions framed in Tinkleys, that is round one. Round two is a really special round. It's called Cover Uncover. So uh, this is a memory game based on some really cool uh, Tinkle covers. We will show you one cover for um, 
say about 30 seconds and uh, after the timer is up you will have to answer five questions about the art and uh, the stuff that you see on the cover so for this you need really really sharp eyes and um, you need to be able to study the cover not like you would study your exam textbooks but study nonetheless and uh, the third round is our personal favorite tinkle roundup and for this you need to know tinkle issues 748 and 749 so if you haven't done your homework which is uh, not a lot because it's just two really fun tinkle issues 748 and 749 you should go to the Tinkle app right now and take a really quick glance. Uh, like Aparna mentioned, you will get 30 seconds to answer each question. Each question carries 500 points. That is a lot of points. Um, points will get deducted uh, as the timer runs out. Um, so you, to get the maximum number of points, you have to answer correctly and you have to answer really quickly. But you will not lose any points if you miss a question or if you answer incorrectly. Do not wait for us to read out the question. We cannot stress this enough because um, there will be a lag, like Aparna said, and you might get the correct answer, but like at the last one second and you're not getting any points. Okay, now coming to the most exciting part. Some, the prizes that the winners will get. So at the end of the episode, uh, the top 10 people we'll get some really exciting prizes and we're only going to reveal one of them which is a free subscription to the tinkle app oh my god if i could play and win this um yeah i wouldn't be sitting here because i need to win myself some tinkle magazines exciting stuff okay uh if you have any further questions you can put them down in the chat box for us and we will try to answer as many as we can before we start this really exciting episode in the meantime all this talk of studying and revision just is giving me flashbacks to those exam nightmares aparna i cannot just i cannot stress this enough um so back when i was in college uh, I had to give an economics paper and I was not scared at the time. I had studied for months in advance, confidently gave the paper, got good marks for it. Um, that was, I think, about four or five or six years ago. And I still get nightmares about not being able to complete the paper. Six years later, I am still stressing out about economics. Now, if I had to give a tinkle exam, guess who would not be stressing? Me. have you had any such nightmares i i have actually but um i'm just gonna hold that thought for a bit because um some people in the chat asking if you if we can see the chat yes we can see the yes, chat we can. <laughs> and we we are reading your comments and if you have any questions about the game show before we start now is a good time to put down those questions and we will answer those questions live okay uh, if you don't have any questions, great, then you're all ready. But there might be some people who have some questions. Yeah. And if there is there is no shame in asking questions. I mean, since we're talking about exams, I have asked 500 questions to my teachers before yes. the exam begins. I have done that. If you have any questions about the game show, you absolutely can put them in the chat. And we will see the chat. And we will answer the questions live on air. OK, so we're just going to wait for a couple of minutes. Just in case anybody has some questions. Um, I think Gia is asking, what should we do now? Well, Gia, if you can see this video, um, well, then hopefully, hopefully you have gone to the website crowd.live and entered the code you've seen on the screen via your second device, hopefully a phone. OK, so through a phone, just go to the website crowd.live, type the code that you see on the screen enter your details and then just wait for us okay we will start the game and the questions will show up okay um somebody called cool crafts cool. has asked yep. do we have to type all the answers or will they be mcqs which is multiple choice questions yeah. you don't have to type any answer they will all be multiple choice questions you just have to just pick, pick the right option and you'll have to pick the option as fast as possible the slower you are mm -hmm. the fewer points you get the faster you are yep. the more points you get okay so no typing just pick the right option okay 
Um, and are there any other questions? Oh, Jatin also just came just now. Tell me yeah. what to do. Okay, Jatin, hopefully you're watching this video on your computer. Okay, grab a second device, which is basically a phone. Okay, yeah. go to the website crowd.live, type the code that you see on the screen, put in your, uh, your name, your age, your email, and wait for us. Uh, Subhadra asks, is Tinkley's hard? <laughs> it's no, tinkly. I, I mean, how hard can it be? It's your friend, Tinkle. It's yeah. You got this. Supandi, <laughs> Supandi can um, if Supandi can understand Tinkley's, and he can. By the way, yeah. you definitely yeah. can. Uh, Nathan asks, can't we just use split screen on a phone? If your phone allows that, great. Yeah. Um, from what I understand, phones don't allow you to keep a YouTube video open alongside a browser window um so you you'll have to test that in your phone uh varun asks can't we use two tabs on a computer you absolutely can uh you just have to switch back and forth between the two tabs if you want to watch this video on youtube as well as answer questions but that's up to you we recommend having a, a phone separately so that it feels like you're in a live video game and the phone is the controller Okay, but that, but it's totally up to you. If you if you don't mind switching between tabs on a computer, you can go for it. Um, okay. Wow, I think uh, I think we're sort of ready. I feel like I'm yeah. in one of my <laughs> in one of my maths exam nightmares because I've had that. You were talking about economic things. Yes. <laughs> like this. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in school in what in more than ten years. I'm very old. Sorry. <laughs> but, Not that old. But um, yes, I still have nightmares about uh, going to school and realizing that there's a maths exam and that I haven't studied anything. But uh, you guys don't worry, this will be fun. You have two rounds, even if you haven't read the Tinkle issues, you have two rounds where you can score maximum points. Only the last round has questions from the Tinkle issues. Yep. So you can score as much as you can in the first two rounds. Uh, how long will this be for? Well, this is going to run not more than 20 minutes. Yeah, 20, 25 minutes is, yep. All right. Okay. Um, okay. What, okay, what are the, so this is the last question. Sorry, we'll take the yeah. last question okay. and then yeah. we'll begin. Okay. Um, Sujata asks, what are the prizes? Ooh, okay. We can reveal just <laughs> one prize, which is free subscription to the Tinkle app. But there are more prizes with that, and we'd rather you find out if you win. Uh, well, it will be a nice surprise for you, but definitely, yes, yes. free subscription yes. to the Tinkle app is one of the prizes, and top 10 winners will get something exciting alongside. All right, okay. um, so I think we're, we're ready now. Yes, we are, yes, and we are. with that, I am going to start uh, the quiz. And first questions on your way. Hey, question one. If Supandi were to start working under a vermiculture expert tomorrow, what would mm -hmm. he be handling? A, petri dishes of bacteria. B, jars of honey. C, loose sheets of paper. Or D, earthworms. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Huh, you know, Aparna, what this makes me wonder. Uh, this is just one more job added to a long, long list of Supandi's jobs. Uh, he has been a librarian. He has been an assistant to a spy. He has been a chef, a security guard, worked on a film set and on a ship. I wonder how he managed to do all of that stuff. Uh, but less about that wondering, more about the correct answer since time has run out. Um, and the correct answer is... It's the earthworms. All right, guys, I see some of you are putting the answers in the comments. You don't have to do that. You can yeah. play along. Yeah. <laughs> just go to the website crowd.live, enter the code you see on the screen, and just play along there. Input okay. your answers. Don't give out the answers in the comments. <laughs> OK, with that thought, I'm going to give you question number two for Tinkle Brainiac. What kind of insects are bees and balas firefly pranies? A, spiders, B, beetles, C, cockroaches, or D, butterflies? 
I I I'm very fascinated by fireflies. You know, I oh. think I think fireflies are super weirdos because they <laughs> light up. And you know what part of their body lights up? It's their bottom. Their bottoms <laughs> light up. Yes. I think I think maybe they like they catch fire, but they don't feel like they're on fire. They're immune to the fire burning. That's a so really super weird, super cool power. And with that, I'm going to give you the super cool correct answer for this. It's be a beetles. Fireflies are a type of beetle. Did you know that? Who the guest? Okay. And uh, question number three for you is: Adi got hit by a ping pong ball and says the largest organ of his body has been hurt. Ouch! What is the largest organ of the human body? A. The lungs. B. The brain. C. The skin. Or D. The thigh. Uh, hmm. Aparna, I have a question for you. It's going to yes, blow your mind. Yes. Okay. What do you? Which do is you it? think? smartest organ of your body in your body which is the smartest organ the smartest organ ooh um i'm going to have to say the brain i think my brain is the smartest organ okay and uh, who told you that oh oh my brain told me that the brain was the smartest exactly. organ exactly oh. are you not oh wow brain? Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, well, I'm gonna give you the correct answer for this. Yes, please. It's see the skin. Okay, uh Devika looks like you just you went poof. Uh yeah, I'm having a small meeting with the DD and um it's sort of secret, so I can't um, show myself yet, but I will be back once the meeting is over. But we should continue with the quiz. Okay. Good luck to you okay. in your meeting with the defective detectives. Yeah. Uh, and the yep. Okay. Uh, question number four is: The students of noise are at a giraffe sanctuary. How does a giraffe clean its eyes and ears? A. Its eyes and ears clean themselves. C with its tongue, C by rubbing its face against leaves, or D with the help of some bird's feathers. I do you think giraffes uh, drink hot chocolate? Do you think that's possible? Like would they would they drink hot chocolate? I guess in giraffe world, I think uh, they have restaurants that would serve them hot chocolate. Yep. But but they have such long necks. Don't you think that by the time the hot chocolate goes down to their stomach, it's Cold chocolate. <laughs> Is that? Um, yeah, I mean, actually, I didn't think about that. I I feel bad for giraffes now. So they always just have cold chocolate, even in yeah. winter. Kind of yeah. sad. So sad. Yeah. But let's let's put this? that thought aside. Uh, correct answer for question four is. See with its tongue. It's got a really long tongue, just like its neck, and it uses yes. its tongue to clean its eyes and ears. Interesting. On, okay. Last question. question of round one. Yes. There you go. The headquarters of the Stalishan are in Iswa, Mizoram. Where are the headquarters of the United Nations? A. Antarctica. B. Atlantis. C. New York City, USA. Or D. Tokyo, Japan. Uh, you know, Aparna, all this talk of these different uh, cities around the world, it reminds me. Um, you know, since I work uh, at the Tinkle Control Center, uh, last week I, I I happened to talk to Shambhu, who currently is traveling the world, and he gave me a list of like these really delicious dishes that he's been trying, and he told me to um, share those with you. So a uh, couple things that he said he's been eating is a dish called a koba from uh, Madagascar. He's tried a lot of different kinds of sushi in Japan. And the most delicious thing he said he's been eating a spread of Norwegian cheeses. Just it wow. made my mouth water, and I wanted to be there with Sambu. I cannot uh -huh. just, I can't. It was delicious. He shared pictures, which I which I will share with you after the show. Oh, show. please do. Yes, please. Okay. Right now, I will give you the correct answer. There you go. 
it's the new york city usa and with that we are done with round one yeah Phew. Okay. that was quick wasn't it uh yeah. what do the scores look like at the end of round one let's take a quick look there we go Oh, Dhanyata in first place, Maria in second, Aaron in third place. Wow, those scores are really close. Mm -hmm. Guys, any one of you can win this. This is exciting. And uh, for those of you in the chat who are still giving out answers, you guys, you're not going to get any points from doing that. If you want to actually get points, grab your phone, go to the website crowd.live via your phone browser. Type in the code 4W90O and you can play along. I know we've finished one round, but you can join now and you can play rounds two and three and you can actually get some points. Okay. Um, unfortunately, putting the answers in the comments will not get you any points. In fact, you will be helping other people get points and well, you won't win. Okay. So now um, I think we should, uh, we should start uh, round two. Okay, All right. uh, round two is cover and cover. That's right. And we will be showing you a tinkle cover for 30 seconds. You need to pay close attention to the art on the cover. Okay, you don't have to uh, look at the, the little text or any of that. You just pay attention to the art because the questions in this round, in round two, are all going to be based on the cover. All right, then. Control center, can we please see the cover for round two? Wow. Hope you paid yeah, very close attention to the cover because the next question from round two is coming your way. Okay, question number one for cover and cover. Uh, which dance form did you see on the cover? A. Dandia, B. Bhangra, C. Bharatnatyam, or D. Tango? Uh, Aparna, um, see, yes. Now, all this uh, talk of the form of dance that we saw on the cover, it um, reminds me of a dance that uh, I could teach you. Um, but of course, right now I can't since uh, I am, you know, in a meeting with the DD. Do you want to teach me some cool dance oh, that you had? Yes. 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 Um, I have I have a dance called a duck dance that uh, I was hoping okay. to show you. Okay, yes, okay, please okay. do. So what you do is, if you want to do the duck dance, you put your hands up like this. And you flap your arms. Now, I know you're thinking this looks like the chicken dance, but no, there's a yep. difference. Because now, once you do this, you have to go quack, 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 quack. Duck dance. That is a very, very interesting dance. OK. I'm applauding okay. myself. Uh, I am applauding for you. The DD are applauding for you. We are all with you. Aww. And with that, we will give you the correct answer. Oh, the Bhangra. Bhangra. Yep. OK, moving on to question number seven. What color was Shambhu's turban? A, orange, B, blue, C, yellow, or D, purple? You know, um, Devika, we yeah. actually don't see colors the same way. I recently found out. Actually, mm -hmm. I found this out through uh, through Tinkle. I was reading okay. an issue. And apparently, the color that I see and call green okay. is not going to look the same way to you. So if you How look you at mean? something, so if I look at something that's green and I tell you, hey, look at that 
green pencil box uh-huh what appears to me as green might appear to you as pink so oh. but you will still call it green but because to you you have been taught that what looks pink is called green that makes any sense that is um, that's in fact that is so interesting that supandi is now sitting here with me as you can see uh he's very shy he doesn't want to talk but he's telling me that what you've just shared with him is really interesting and he wants to talk more about that after the show so i'm going to give you the correct answer for this it is the purple uh moving on to question number 8 for episode 2 What color were Supandi's shoes? A green, B brown, C pink, or D blue? You know, Aparna, these um, shoes remind me that uh, this one day I was um, walking on the road in the monsoons, and I saw somebody in knee-high gum boots, in silver color, shiny, bright, fancy silver. I was just like, uh, wow. like, wow! It's like you know, you're in like if she were in space, that person and her shoes would just fit right in. But she's on Earth, and we need to see the correct answer and move on. So the correct answer is D, blue. Okay. Hey. The second last question for cover and cover. We hope you've seen the cover properly. It is, uh, which tones did you see on the cover? A. Supandi, Aisha, Adi, Nadia, and Shambhu. B. Maddie, He, Rena, Freya, and Shanti. C. Toxica and Shorya. D. Purani, Doob Doob, Chamataka, and Sahil. That is that is quite a list of tunes. I imagine you invite all of them to a party, like a Tinkle Tune party. They would oh, be yeah. total chaos. I just imagine Tantri will be trying to poison Pooja throughout the party, so he'll be just yep. going around poisoning every plate of food he can find, <laughs> and then Pooja won't eat it. Shambhu will go and eat all of it, <laughs> and then the defective <laughs> detective—they will think that everybody in this party is a criminal. They're going to yep. go sleuthing, investigate every little thing, even though there's nothing to investigate, and then Supandi is just going to try to help everyone and make a. Total mess of things. Wow, okay. that would be some party. Yeah, except I think um, so. Pandey is going to feel bad if we stay on this topic about him picking up mess. So let's look at the correct okay. answer. So Pandey, don't feel bad. The correct answer is so Pandey, Aisha, Adi, Nadia, and Shambhu. And finally, the last question for cover and cover. There you go. Which musical instruments were Shambhu and Supandi playing? A. Tambourine. B. Flute. C. Dhol. D. Saxophone. These are, uh, you know, musical instruments remind me of uh, music and poems and song and dance. And uh, I actually uh, wrote a poem that I want to share with you. It's a dramatic reading of a sheep's poem. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here it goes. Ba ba ba, ba ba, ba ba ba, ba. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, sheep ba. No. This is a dramatic reading of a sheep's poem. Only yeah. other sheep will understand this. Yeah, but you know what? But Our you know what? We understand the correct answer. Let's move on from my reading quickly. Okay, correct answer is C. Dhol. Though honestly, I was a little touched by your dramatic reading. Oh, thank you. Very heartfelt. Yay! Okay, do you want to see the scoreboard now? Yes, we finished two rounds. What are the scores like? Exciting. Okay, there you go. Oh, first place Macbeth, second place DVR nine, and third place Sri Lakshmi V. Wow, that wow. changed fast. Yeah, that, that is nice. Yeah, that was unexpected. See, you see, guys, anybody can win this game. Absolutely, anyone can win it. There's still one more round. Okay, and who knows what will happen in the last round? 
Last round is Tinkle Roundup. And questions in this round will be from Tinkle Issues 748 and 749. That is correct. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Uh, I'm going to send question 11 your way. Take it away. Let's do this. Okay. Yep, I think uh, internet is being a bit of a brat. Oh, internet. Don't do this. Stay with us. Okay, we're back. Oh, there it comes. What does Mo gift Ina for her birthday? A, a set of pens. B, a scarf. C, an umbrella. Or D, a dog. Um, Aparna, you will not believe what a friend of mine gifted me on my birthday. What she what, what she she got it? me an orange, a clown's nose, and a pirate eye patch. Yeah, yeah. I think um, everybody should just enjoy that list of gifts and that expression. Uh, let's not delay this any further. I'm going to give you the correct answer. It's be a scarf. Mo gifted Ina a scarf for her birthday. Thank God. Okay. It wasn't okay. an orange or clown's yeah. nose and a pirate's eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number 12 is What is the name of the monster hired by, sorry, monster hunter hired by Tantri? A. Shikari Shambhu. B. Monstrous Beware. C. Monster Hunter number one. Or D. The one monstrator. You know, um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call Tantri and ask him for the number of this monster hunter because um I think there is a monster in my computer. Sometimes my computer acts a little weird and I need a monster hunter. Have you thought about getting an antivirus software? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that would be better. Yeah. I yeah. think so, yes. Um, OK, I'm going to give you the correct answer for this question. Data one monsterator. She is wow, she did, she did not have fun in that story, if you've read nope. it. Nope, she did not. OK, question number 13 uh, from Tinkle Roundup. Which orb does, sorry, which orb makes Dr. Rempuya's robot lose its balance? A, balance loser orb. B, ice mania orb. C, frozen water frenzy orb, or D, slippery glittery orb. You know, if Angelina was my sister, I'd ask her to make me a whole bunch of herbs, and one of them would give me delicious dishes whenever I want, and one would just protect me from the rain, because people who know me know how much I don't like getting wet in the rains. I need an orb for that. I really do. You need, a, you need an orb to stay dry in the rains? Yes. Do you have one? Can you uh, give it to me, please? Why not use an umbrella or a raincoat? OK. You know, that is not working out for me. I, I don't want to talk about this. I'm giving you the correct answer. <laughs> no fun if it's not an orb. The slippery glittery orb. That was the one. OK, okay. question 14. Second last question for this episode. How does the hiker take a picture of the pranis? A, with her mind. B, with her phone camera. C, she sketches them on a piece of paper. Or D, with a pinhole camera. Aparna, do you think this would be like a super weirdo power where uh, every time the super weirdo blinks his or her eyes, uh, uh -huh. they take a mental picture. And their eyes always go kichik kichik, which is odd because that's when they're blinking the whole time. I don't think this through, did I? So every time they blink, they take a picture of what they Yeah, seeing. and they go kichik kichik. <laughs> oh, the sound effect has to be Sound there. effect has to be there. OK. Uh, that, that would be a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. OK, I'm going to give you the correct answer on that note. So she used a phone camera, and she took a picture of the pranis. The correct answer um, is. Turns out she's not a super weirdo. No, she's a weird. icon. OK. <laughs> OK. Last uh, question. Yes. Last question of episode two. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay. This is it. Stakes are really high. 500 points for you to take away with this question. There you go. 
Which book did Supandi give a customer at his bookshop? A, a book about weight gain. B, a joke book. C, a book of magic. Or D, a book on plants. I think Supandi himself has uh, he's written a few books by the way. Oh really? Yes. Um, Can you tell me? So you said earlier in the show how he's been a librarian an assistant to a spy he's worked on a ship etc yeah. etc. Yeah. So he's written a book titled 101 ways to find a job because Supandi always finds a new job. Oh and oh. Uh, yeah and uh, there's another one called Enthuse your employer because his, his employers, his bosses are always angry with him. So I'm guessing what's in Enthuse your employer is basically get your boss or if you guys are reading, if you want to read this book, maybe how to make your teacher enthusiastic and happy. So maybe <laughs> you like shout and scream and cheer in front of them and maybe they'll become enthusiastic about you. But they Come on, who are we kidding? So Pandi wrote this book. I mean, there's no guarantee any of it is going to work. That is but very anyhow. OK. I'm <laughs> going to give you the correct answer on that. No? Yeah. What book did he actually give this customer? A book about weight gain, option A. OK. Well, we're done. We're done with episode two. So yes, um, who won? What are the scores like? The most exciting part of the show is to find out the winners. Oh, first place, yeah. Macbeth, second place, Sri Lakshmi, yeah. third place, Abhimanyu, fourth place, Dhaneta, then Maria, then Shanu, and oh, and then it just moved. It was very quick. <laughs> but uh, congratulations, you guys. Well done. Those are some excellent scores. And uh, everyone who took part, give yourself a round of applause. Well done, you guys. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, okay. Hope you guys had fun. We will be doing this again. Don't worry if you didn't win this time. You have more opportunities to win. Yes. Um, and a free subscription to the Tinkle app is up for grabs, among other prizes. And um, okay. Yeah. So uh, we will be back with episode three on August 29th at 11 a.m. I'm going to repeat that again for you. August 29th, 11 a.m. is episode three of the Tinkle Game Show. And the Tinkle issues that you will need to read are uh, 750 and 751. If you haven't downloaded the Tinkle app yet, do that immediately. Uh, you will find it on the Play Store and the App Store. Uh, and with that, I see that I have come to my personal favorite segment of the show, which I like to call end of the show joke. Aparna, are you ready? I am. I'm also a little scared because I know what your jokes are like. Yes, you should be. Okay. This is a question for you. Why okay. do bees have sticky hair? Why? Bees have hair, first of all. Okay. That is news to me. Do. Why do they have sticky hair? Um, because they use glue. I don't know. No, because they use a honeycomb. Honeycomb. Ah, uh, okay. Yay! Okay. Told you it's my personal favorite. Oh, oh. By the way, we have a question in the comments. Will you do this every day? Uh, from Vinita Prabhu. Vinita, no, this is this game show will not be every day. The next episode will be on the 29th of this month. That is August 29th at 11 a.m. So, yes, join us for episode three. And, uh, yeah, you will have another chance to win. Okay, then. Um, on that note, we will take your leave. Bye, everyone. And remember, keep reading Tinkle. See you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.